If you want to know how to make fall damage in Roblox Studio so you get damage by falling from a certain height, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you really easily how to make fall damage. It's a pretty simple script, and uh, I thought I should just make a video on it, because it's pretty requested, and um, it's a really cool idea. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on that notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload, and become a member by clicking the blue join button down below if you want. And uh, all I can say is um, have fun. So as I said, it's a really simple script. But I'm going to explain everything about it because that's well, why I'm here. I'm newbie, you know, I explain things. So you want to go to start your player. And you want to go to start your character scripts. And you want to insert a local script. After that, you want to type the following. Local players. Is it goes to game. Go on, get service players so uh, let's see what it does we can lower uh, over here we can easily see what it does returns to service with the requested class name creating it if it doesn't not exist so that's what it does so now we got local player is equals to players dot local player because we need the, the the player itself so the player that the local script is running for so that is really easy local player sorry local character is equals to player that character and as you can see the character is a model controlled by the player that con contains a humanoid root part or yeah that too humanoid body parts scripts and other objects including the humanoid root part now we need to get the humanoid so local humanoid is equals to character that humanoid and it does not like pop up because the humanoid hasn't been added yet to like the player because we're we're not playing the game yet so that's why it's, it's going to be blank. So now local humanoid root part is equals to uh, character dot humanoid root part. So this returns the class. This uh, identifies the player. This identifies the player's character. This identifies the character's humanoid. And this one identifies the character's humanoid root part. We need to detect if the humanoid has been changed. So if you take fall damage, you're going to land. Like, Roblox kind of monitors your character. So if you jump, it's going to be set to jumping, I believe. But if you fall down, it's going to set to falling. But if you land after a big fall, it's going to change to landed. And we're going to use that in this tutorial. So humanoid dot state changed. Because uh, what we're going to detect is a change of the state. And so that's what we're going to detect. Um, colon connect function and we need to use the old state of it but also the new state and we are not going to use the old state uh, because the um, normally this is the first argument and this is the second so this is the old stage so say you went from falling to landed it's good this is going to be equals to falling and this is going to be equals to landed but we cannot do that uh, we cannot use the old state because that's not what we're going to use and in that way, we couldn't calculate anything. So if new state, oh no, in the brackets, if new state is equals to equals to enum dot, and here you got a lot of stuff. As you can see, there's so many things, but we are going to use uh, humanoid state type. As you can see, climbing, yep. And then, as you can see, we got all of these. So let's say if you die, uh, it's, it, your state is going to be set to uh, dead, and then you got a lot more, but we are going to use the landed. So the humanoid touches the ground after a free fall. This state lasts only briefly, so it changes after you're doing something again. So enum.humanoidStateType.land. So if the new state is the landed one, then we need to get, we need to do a little calculation. So local height, the height you dropped is equals to negative humanoid root part dot velocity dot y. And y is the, you know, you got like the y axis or something. Uh, it's, it's like the vertical side of some, some mathematics thingy. It's kind of hard to explain. We need to detect 
if you have fallen a height of more than 100 studs. I have no idea what studs in meters is, or inches, or feet, or whatever you use as the metric system, or whatever. Um, we just need to get it to 100 studs. This is completely optional, but 100 seems pretty good to me. If height is the same or above as 100, so um, right arrow equals, and after that, we need to do a little calculation. So... The damage you're going to take, local damage, is equals to height divided by 80 to the power of 4.5. And uh, it, it's pretty... So, so you're going to take a pretty big health uh, drop after that. My mouse just stopped working. Okay, uh, it should be back any second. Okay, it just broke on me. That sucks. Um, so let's see. After that, the humanoid needs to take some damage. So humanoid, gonna take damage, and it's going to take the damage uh, we just calculated. So now that my mouse is back, after a little resetting of the battery, we can now click play. And it should work, so let's do it right now. As you can see, we can click on a part. We're going to spawn in a part so we can uh, demonstrate it. So we're gonna go up in the air. Oh no, almost died again. Okay, let's see. Okay, this should be good good. So, if we now fall down, we should probably die. As you can see, we fell down a pretty good height. And we lost half of our HP. So, let's go up way more. How about this? Now, if we fall down, whee! Bleh, and you just died from fall damage. Imagine. Okay, I'm sorry. So, now that we can just do it again. Oh, we can go up. Pretty good. Oh, there we go. As you can see, I got a little bit of fall damage. Uh, you can completely change everything of the calculation, but make sure it has a logical order. And always make sure to use the power of something. So let's see if we can make that jump and go. And boom. Oh no! And you missed the jump and you just died. So, as I said, it's a pretty simple mechanic, but it is pretty cool to have in your Roblox game. You can use this for parkour games or just to add into your Roblox game for fun if you have a pretty good game. And uh, overall, I think it's a really cool idea. And thank you for the person who suggested to do this because it was pretty, it was a really cool idea in my opinion. If you did in fact like this tutorial, make sure to give a like. And if you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Become a member by clicking the blue join button DM below. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out. Thank you.